Dahon was founded with the singular purpose of convincing more people to use environmentally sustainable forms of transport. To accomplish this goal, we focused on creating innovative folding bicycles. Dahon has revolutionised the folding bike business and the industry. 30 years ago, with the introduction of the first Dahon, we had a bicycle that was effectively engineeringly correct and move forward, which allowed people then to easily use this bicycle as a multimodal way of, of getting from A to B, using a train, a bus, or even a car, have the bicycle in the boot, taking it out for the last congested mile or two kilometers. The on bikes have become a special lifestyle for people who live active, environmentally friendly lifestyles. Dahon bikes are about unfolding freedom and about making commuting easy. Dahon is headquartered in uh, Duarte, California, USA, and its main production facility is in China. We also have facilities in, in Macau and in Taiwan. And for Europe, uh, all the products now come from uh, Bulgaria. 30 years after the start, Dahon is the best known name in folding bicycles around the world. As founders of the brand of Dahon, Dr. Hon and Henry Hon were the people responsible for the revolution in the folding bike business. And it's true to say that Dr. Hon is considered today as the father of this modern day folding bicycle. <laughs> The strong management has managed to bring Dahon into the world's largest folding bike manufacturer. It was uh, clear uh, during the oil crisis of uh, the early 70s that uh, oil gasoline cars uh, cannot be uh, a part of the city uh, urban transportation for ever. So, uh, you know, the bicycle came to mind. So even though I was a successful scientist, I, I'm also very practical. I want something to see something successful commercially. So I thought uh, maybe I ought to do something that's more uh, attainable. So uh, the bicycle, I thought, would be very important for a solution of uh, energy uh, shortages. Uh, so I went from, the Han brothers went from uh, aerospace to uh, bicycle, the reverse of the Wright brothers. Uh, why not? He came to me uh, late 70s and told me about his idea and asked me whether I want to join in and support him. And also I was uh, making pretty good money at that time and so I had extra money that, uh, that I could invest into the project. So I was his first uh, major financial sponsor, you might say. I felt uh, that uh, the, you know, the mo this mobility scene can, can use a fold-up bicycle for transportation and for storage. The dream was to uh, make a bicycle even more popu popular and uh, be even more of a part of the solution of urban mobility. Uh, then in order to do that, uh, there are all kinds of things to uh, worry about, production, marketing, finance, uh, management. Uh, uh, as well as technology. Uh, so in the bicycle industry in the early days, uh, people would, um, would kind of laugh at the idea of a folding bicycle because they didn't think that there was a market and there wasn't a market at that time. But uh, I think as we sh show the bike around, uh, it got the people's attention, not in the industry, but just regular bicycle riders and regular people that, that have an interest in bicycles. At the beginning, we, we really didn't want to have our own brand. We want to sell it to others to sell under their, their you know, set of OEM. But nobody wanted to uh, do that, so we had to use our, our own brand to, to sell wherever we are selling it. It was uh, not an easy job to get it going. In order to get press, uh, we 
attention. Um, we had to just do it, do things outside the box, you might say. And w which is that f I remember one time uh, in the San Francisco area, we had to uh, just stand in front of a TV station and start riding the bike and folding and unfolding the bike until somebody uh, walked by going into the station, saw it, and immediately asked a reporter to come down to uh, get an interview about what we're trying to accomplish. For decades, city planners have been trying to figure out the best way to get commuters from home to work. Some San Francisco entrepreneurs may have found the answer. It's a commuter bike, and it just takes 13 steps to convert this metallic jigsaw puzzle into a bicycle. Henry says this is the vehicle of the future. You can take it anywhere. You can take it on, into the trolley, you can take it on the bus, you can take it into an apartment, put it in the closet. You know, so the vision is that everybody will be riding these Han folders. <laughs> We're going to talk to uh, uh, Dr. David Hahn, who is with the Hughes Research Laboratories as a staff physicist. This is uh, just the Han folding bike right now. I have, uh, I have no other name for it. We'll see how this works here now. This is, uh, this is going to turn out to be a uh, regular-sized bicycle, I imagine. Yes, it is. This is going to be the new mode of transportation here in the United States. Those are the beginning of how we kind of got started with getting publicity. And from there, of course, we, got, we were picked by a number of uh, uh, mail order catalogs in the beginning. And then we had a direct uh, t television sales commercial. The unique bicycle for all riders. The compact wheels lower the center of gravity, so it's very maneuverable. And here's the amazing part. It transforms into a carry-on size package in just 12 seconds. Think of the convenience when you can stash the bike in a closet or even under a seat. Simply take a couple of Dahans with you. You'll always have a high-performance bike for instant transportation and fun. That did really well, that got the publicity out. And because of that, you know, even people like uh, set in Star Trek um, uh, and Bruce Jenner, who is the uh, gold medalist at that time, and, and just a number of celebrities were, were uh, finding themselves riding a Dahan and so because of that, I think it just started to snowball that uh, the folding bicycle is not the, a clown bike, but it's actually pretty cool. We were uh, reported by newspapers across the, the world, uh, and uh, we were on television, on uh, game shows, all kinds of things. And uh, Henry and I was kind of a minor celebrity for a few years. David Hahn, everybody. Okay. Hi, David. Nice to see nice you. Nice to see you. What, what have you invented? You watch. Okay. Bye. Isn't that great? We have learned a lot about the bike uh, industry. Uh, and we have changed our design to fit that so that uh, the, the price of our products become, uh, you know, lower and lower as time go went on. The reason why we went to Asia was uh, after, you know, surveys in all, you know, all over the United States, Japan, China, and uh, Taiwan. It became apparent to a lot of people, including me, that Taiwan was becoming the uh, mecca uh, of uh, bicycles. Uh, future Mecca at, at that time. Uh, you know, the Sunjun factory is the biggest one. Um, it has been improving uh, actually in all sectors of the global Dahan. Well, yeah, there has been some, uh, you know, structural changes in the last couple of years. Um, and uh, we have since hired some pretty um, powerful professionals uh, from Europe uh, from uh, uh, America and from Asia uh, and I feel that the uh, our teamwork uh, as well as our professionalism is at a much higher level and getting ready to do a lot more things for our market. You know we are building the Han now is a leading brand and that brand we value that brand we want to protect that brand and we want to be able to, you know, extend that brand uh, throughout the whole bicycle industry and all bicycle riders. With our new 
professional staff and professional consulting companies. More teamwork now, uh, more than ever before, is going to move our marketing, our sales. Our first global advertising campaign, Express Your Personality, was launched at Eurobike in 2011. It has been received by our distributors extremely well. They are delighted the fact that we have people and personalities involved with an engineering product. Uh, it has certainly been a success at the, the sales revenue end uh, because people are, are mentioning the, the Express Your Personality. It fits in well with our fundamental tagline which is freedom unfolds and every personality wants freedom and our range which covers almost every personality you can imagine complements both uh, the tagline of freedom unfolds and express your personality. Our folding bicycle can, uh, can fit any type of personality from the urban young uh, university students to the, uh, the ones that are out vacationing with their RV, with the boat, um, to the ones that just want to ride for fitness and recreation and etc. So that's the range of Dahan and that's the Dahan brand. The culture of Dahan is, is that of an innovative company, relentlessly finding ways to make bikes lighter, smaller, faster, more comfortable. We've achieved success in, in the world uh, I think it's still first that because our bicycle performs like a bicycle. So people are not uh, giving up a, uh, the rideability, the performance, in order to have the convenience of folding up the bike. The 30 years of the foundation, Dahon is the best known name in folding bikes in the world continuing to set the trend for environmentally conscious people everywhere. Dahon has shaped the way folding bikes are made and the way we get from one place to another. Our uh, core value is to promote green urban mobility through uh, uh, innovation uh, and good services uh, and running our business with integrity.